the easiest just to try to heat a larger area on one side and just kind of move all the fibers over. We have customers also that, that heat the material in the oven on a silicone sheet, pull it out, and then just stretch the silicone sheet with the material. And they, they do it very fast. And that's mainly our customers that have central fabs that just pump out orthosis. Again, it's important to make sure that I'm smooth and I have a good fit on the mold. Roll my last piece here. Then after I put my last piece on, I'll let the I'll let the material cool down. And then I take it off and, and, and grind it. But now we'll, we'll let it cool down and this is the time where you trim it up and basically finish it. If, if you, when you laid it up, if you were careful about making sure everything's stuck, you could fit it to the patient realistically after, after grinding it and see if this is the fit you want. You, obviously the strength isn't there yet because now everything's basically tacked together. But what we'll do is we'll, we'll grind it and I'll just quickly grind it here, just kind of cut off the pieces. So then after you've grinded it, smoothed it, then what we'll do is put it back on the mold and prepare it to put it in the oven. Because what it needs to be is it needs to be in the oven under vacuum to laminate all the pieces together and that's for at 220 or 230 degrees and then at 30 minutes and the the uh, the time and temperature is we, we say 230 30 minutes but it's still rough it may be 35 40 minutes it's all depending on the, the size of your plaster mold and how much moisture is in your plaster mold because obviously if you have a very wet plaster mold you put it in the oven, you have to overcome the cooling effect of that wet plaster mold. Basically, what we're, all we're trying to do is put it in the oven under pressure and bring down the viscosity in the material, or melt the material, and then have the same distance between all the fibers throughout the uh, orthosis. Then you have a, you'll have a strong orthosis. And I can, uh, sure, I just cut off the pieces. See, it's not very beautiful right now, but I can pass it around. And you, can, you can feel how it's not very strong. And then you can feel how it feels when it's finished. To prepare for the oven, I have a uh, basically a, a nylon bag that we use, and we it's sold in uh, 10 meter rolls, and it's also reusable. Basically, I sealed it. I've already sealed it with some sealant tape. We have. I don't know with pre preg you could be using the same material. But it just make sure it's the right length and cut off my bag. Just the. Uh, high temp nylon vacuum bag. This has a working temperature of 240, this material. We reuse it uh, three, four times, at least. Compared to the mold now, we have a, we use a release film, because we need to have, it's important to have a barrier between the plaster mold and the carbon. So we don't want any moisture from the plaster mold getting into the matrix. That'll oxidize the matrix. So it's important that we have a, a release film between the, the material and the plaster. The 
the best thing is not to use your carbon scissors to cut your release films and vacuum bags. But I normally use a just a spray adhesive. Stuff is I can just stretch on the material. And if I was, you know, really worried about, I'm always going to have one wrinkle. What we do also is is we have this uh, stocking net that you can put on over the release film and that will actually melt into the, the orthosis but we use it, a, a lot of our customers using it because it's, it gives a rough inner surface so if they want to glue in something it gives a good gluing surface and then you don't see any wrinkles if I want to get it nice and stretched on I can take off my cotton stocking net here I can stretch on my but the main thing is that it uh, that it's a barrier between the, the plaster and the carbon and if if you want to use a uh, if you want to have some type of liner in the material. The best thing we do is use a uh, silicone distance material so you, you build up the, a distance. So now I can, I'll put it back on. And again I can put it on like this or I could use I could put my uh, pet material underneath. So now I have my release film then I'll put, I want a, a shiny surface on the outside. So what we use is silicone. We have different kinds of silicones. This is a half blank silicone. Maybe Swedish. Uh, it's, not, uh, it's not glossy, but it's kind of glossy. And basically what we do is we just, we just stretch the silicone over. It's important when you when you put the silicone on is that you get rid of really want to make sure you get rid of all the wrinkles. The uh, tape is a, a high temp Teflon tape, and that's. It's obviously reusable material. You don't have to be too picky about the uh, tape, actually. You won't see the tape. It'll give you, as long as you have the silicone evenly onto the carbon without any wrinkles, you'll have a, a nice finish.